Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. A few weeks ago I did a video on five products that disappointed me, so I thought that today I would do the opposite of that video and tell you a little bit about five products that impressed me, that exceeded my expectations, that just generally did a better job than I expected them to. If you are new to my channel, I would love it if you'd subscribe. I upload a new video every single week and let's go ahead and get started. The first product is the Too Faced Hangover Primer. I know everybody raves about this and everybody loves it, but honestly, I was skeptical. My makeup looks fine without a primer, so honestly, I just thought that I didn't need it and I thought that it wouldn't make any difference to my makeup. I know if you have oily skin, then primers can be helpful. If you have really dry skin, primers can be helpful, but my skin is kind of normal, a little bit on the dry side, so I thought that it wouldn't make that much of a difference. And I did use this in a first impression video and I remember saying that I wasn't blown away by it, I didn't see a huge difference. I just thought that it was an extra step that I didn't need. But after using it for a few months, and actually this one is completely empty, there is nothing left in this one, um, I'm probably going to repurchase it. I do think that it's a really good product. It is very hydrating. Even on my skin, which is not the driest, I have been starting to get a really dry patch on my chin when I use particular foundations, and this definitely helped. It is made with coconut water, which is known to be a very hydrating ingredient, and I do think that it really does what it's meant to do. Yes, it does feel a little bit like a moisturizer, but it is a hydrating product for dry skin, so if a moisturizer is what you need, then this, you know, it moisturizes and it primes at the same time. So I'm not saying that it is the most amazing primer in the world or even the most hydrating primer in the world. I haven't tried a whole lot of primers, but I am saying that it exceeded my expectations. I had fairly low expectations for it and it has proved to me that it is worth buying. The next product is a really, really cheap product. It is from Colourpop and it is their Yes Please palette, which that is what it looks like if you haven't seen it yet. I think this is the best value for money palette that I own but not only that I actually believe that this is my favorite palette that I own full stop when I got this and I did my first impressions on it I remember saying something like it was nice but it wasn't my favorite palette like my high-end palettes were still nicer than this one but actually I have changed my mind and I think this one is amazing like take the price point out of it completely it's not just because it's a cheap palette but in terms of the actual products and the actual eyeshadows I think that this is amazing quality like up there with high-end brands the shadows are pigmented and blendable there is not a single shadow in here that I struggle to work with I think the shade range is great for me personally I don't tend to wear darker shades so that is not missing for me from this palette the shade range for me is just absolutely perfect there are plenty of mattes that you can use for transition shades crease shades everything that you need and then there's plenty of shimmers as well and actually one of my favorite looks to do with this palette is an all matte look using this shade here in the crease and then this one all over the lid and I love that I find that a lot of palettes don't have enough mattes like think of the naked palette Naked Heat does have enough mattes, but the ones before that don't. This palette has eight matte shades and four shimmery shades, and I just think that that is the perfect balance. Really, the only thing that I would change is that the names are on the back, and I find that really confusing. I just wish the names were underneath, but I think that they've changed that for the newer um, palettes that they've released. Anyway, I think that this palette is absolutely amazing absolutely worth the money like they could have charged way more for this palette next up is another drugstore product that again exceeded my expectations I had high hopes but my mind was blown it is the Maybelline the colossal big shot volume express mascara I picked this up at about the same time that I picked up the benefit bad girl bang mascara and while I like both this is my favorite of the two and given the price point it shouldn't be my favorite this one I find it gives me volume like the name says it gives me volume that doesn't drop all day it continues to look amazing throughout the day it doesn't transfer that is a massive thing for me it does not transfer onto my lid onto like underneath my eye it just stays exactly where it's meant to be and then at the end of the day when you want to take it off it comes off easily I don't know if it's waterproof I haven't tried it in the water I generally don't wear mascara if I'm going near water for normal day-to-day -day wear it just stays put it looks amazing that is the main thing it just makes my lashes look amazing and then that doesn't change through the day they continue to look 
exactly like they did when I first applied it. I know people always rave about Maybelline mascaras, but honestly I just didn't really buy into the hype that much. And I also kind of thought like, sure Maybelline's probably fine for the price, but like if you're going to spend more, you're going to get better quality. But not necessarily. This is... I prefer this mascara over my Benefit one, which was double the price. So, once again, this impressed me. I was I was just blown away. I still need to go back and retry the Clinique Chubby Lash Mascara because that used to be my old favorite but I haven't had it in a really long time. So I'd love to buy that again and compare my new favorite to my old favorite and see which one is my all-time favorite. Alright, next up is a product from an Australian brand, which you may have heard me talk about in the past. It's a brand called Chi Chi, and the product in particular that I want to talk about is their Super CC Cream. This looks amazing on my skin. When I first bought it, I don't know, I was put off a little bit by the smell. It does have a very strong, like, lemon cake kind of smell, which I like it when I've baked a lemon cake, but... In a product, it's not my favorite. Anyway, so when I first tried it, I was put off a little bit by the smell, but the actual product and how it leaves my skin looking is amazing. When I wear this, my skin looks healthy and glowy, and actually that's probably why I didn't used to love it, is because I used to love a matte foundation. And I still do love a matte foundation, but I also love it when my skin looks glowy as well. I just appreciate both now. And aside from looking amazing while it's on, it is not a fussy product. I can apply this with a brush or a sponge, it doesn't matter, and I really like that. And it's just one of those products that you like, brush it all over your face and it's done. Like it doesn't leave streaks, it doesn't leave patches, it's just... It goes on easily, it goes on quickly, and it's done and it's ready. I have to say I'm reaching more for foundations that you just go over once and they're done, as opposed to the foundations that you really have to keep going over them and stippling them and going in circles and, you know, finding the right technique that works for that foundation. I find that to be a real hassle and I would prefer a product like this that you just go over once and it's done. So that is why this product is in this list. It is a cheaper product here in New Zealand because it comes from Australia and it's just one of those cheaper brands that's easier for us to get here. And I've found Chi Chi products to be a little hit and miss in the past. Some of them I've loved, others I've really not liked that much. So I didn't have the highest expectations when I tried this, but it has proved me wrong, it has proved itself worthy, and I think it's a good product. If you live in New Zealand or Australia, I would definitely check this out if you haven't already. And the last product I'm going to talk about today is probably one that you are sick of hearing me talk about, but... It is the Lancome Juicy Shaker. I have mine in the shade Mango's Wild, but it's not about the shade, it's just about the product. I was given this by a friend. I was never going to spend that much of my own money on something that I didn't think was a good product because I'd tried this in the store, I'd smelt it, I'd swatched it, and I thought it smelt gross and I thought that it just looked like nothing. So I was never going to spend my own money on it, but my friend gave it to me to try not new, she'd used it and she was decluttering it. So I got this second hand and I just fell in love. I think the ones that I smelt and swatched in store had been sitting out as testers for a really long time and I think that's why they smelt so bad because this one smells amazing. It looks so natural on the lips. It's just a tiny bit of a tint, like it doesn't look like this color that you see here. It just looks a little bit like a clear gloss but it feels so much more comfortable than a gloss. It feels like a lip oil, like really nourishing, and I would assume the oil is one of the main ingredients in this, so that would be why it feels that way. It's just a really super easy everyday product. It is sheer enough that you can apply it without a mirror and you, you're you not gonna muck it up, it's fine. Um, it's also sheer enough that it will go with absolutely everything, and also it wears off evenly. Like when you have it on, like I said, it just looks like a gloss on your lips, so when it comes off, because it doesn't have a lot of pigment to it, it just comes off nicely and evenly and it doesn't look like you've had a lipstick on or something that's patchy and rubbing off in certain areas. It's super user friendly and I could not recommend it anymore. So once again this is definitely a product that exceeded my expectations. Once again I had low expectations for this product and it blew my mind. So those are the five products that I wanted to talk about today. The five products that really impressed me and performed a lot better than I expected them to. Let me know if you've tried any of these products and what you think of them. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did and I will see you next time. Bye!